All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS. Salutations to y'all going around the world teaching the truth. My name is Maya Kahal Naga with Chicago Branch of GMS. And uh, you know, even down, even Bernie, even Bernie and uh Aaron ain't even safe, man, from these damn devils, man. <laughs> you know. So uh you know, I got this all beingnews.com, man. You know, uh, see, you know, you brothers need to look on beingnews.com. You tell me, I ain't got nothing to find. Ain't no time to talk about, man. There's plenty of stuff to talk about, man. You know, just like El Tahar stated, you know, his recent videos, man. All right, always something to talk about, man. You get newspaper, article, video clips. You can interview your uh, family members. All right. So there's no excuse, man. All right, so right here it says, uh, it says right here from www.msn, but I got this link from beingnews.com. All right, so it says right here, it said, you know, People, all right, People Magazine. All right, it said, at Sesame Street, writer says Bert and Ernie are gay. <laughs> all right, it says, Sunny Day, as fans had suspected for years, turns out that the world's most beloved puppet roommates are more than just friends, according to a new interview with former Sesame Street writer Mark Saltzman about the LG. Yeah, they keep changing their damn thing. All right, keep changing their damn uh, uh, initials every year, man. But anyway, LGBTQ. Oh, the hell is that? But anyway, man, uh, lifestyle website, Queerty. All right. I remember one time that a column from the San Francisco Chronicle Preschool of City turned to mom and as our Bert and Ernie lovers. All right. That coming from preschool, that was fun. And that got passed around and everyone had chuckled and went back to his assessment told the outlet. All right. He compared his own relationship with acclaimed editor Arnold uh, Glassman to the characters. I always felt that without a huge agenda, fucking liar. When I was writing Bert and Ernie, they were. I didn't have any other way to contextualize, contextualize your damn lie. The other thing was more than one person referring to Ernie as I, Ernie as, Arnie and I as Bert and Ernie saw some recall. All right. So this guy's a damn liar, man. All right. And to you simplest, man, Bert and Ernie was, came out in 1969. All right. Wait for this writer came along, man. All right. So. You know, it says, uh, Second Corinthians chapter, uh, two verse eleven it said, "Let Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of the devices." So those brothers, we are not ignorant of Esau devices. This is one of them, man. All right, this is basically a device to keep the population uh, numbers down, man. So they won't, you know, for the future generation won't challenge Esau when Esau uh comes in and moves in on. Um, Particularly the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. And they saw he want to move in on his own people, man. You know, the lower level Edomites, man. Those, um, the military militia, so on and so on, man. Those, they actually believe in that um, American patriotic bullshit, man. You know, so he was, you know, get the number of the population down here in America and the world so nobody won't challenge him. That's why Esau pushing that gay agenda. All right. So, uh, all right, because this is spiritual warfare, man. You cannot fight Esau with a gun, man. It says, uh, Ephesians 6, let us put the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wheels of the devil. All right, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against uh, the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places, all right? So this is an example of one of spiritual wickedness in high places, man. Because actually, this, what Esau is actually casting a spell over uh, uh, the population of America and around the world, man, with this gay agenda, man. All right? You know, basically to uh, to make people commit genocide, man. All right? But not reproducing, you know, sex, man. You know, and who knows, man, a little boy, a little bold story, man, probably a damn lie, man. He saw you a damn devil. Anyway, man, you know. 
All right, so it says, and this is how you, how you man, uh, and he's America's uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, man. It said Revelation 11, verse 8. And their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city. The dead body represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans who are the Israelites according to the scriptures. And the great city of America was spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right? Was spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right? And this is Sodom all over again, man. Because America is pushing this sodomy. All right, Egypt, America's Egypt, spiritual Egypt. Look at the Washington Monuments. Look at uh, southern, southern uh, uh, noise called over Egypt. You go to Memphis, got the Memphis River. Matter of fact, I just learned it's a high school called Egypt High in Tennessee. You know, so it's a where so our Lord's crucified was crucified. Yeah, with the image of Yahweh shot. You put up a devil, a so called white man. You know, uh, you, you use the image of an Edomite man, Cesar Borgia. All right, and his teachers crucified, man. As crucified by pushing it. Uh, these churches, particularly T.D. J.'s careful dollar, uh, X, X Ministries, all right? <laughs> um, it's teaching crucified. Even you guys, some of these uh, uh, rest of the uh, Hebrews like counts, man. All right, this teaching you how to try, uh, uh, this twist is, uh, uh, teaches, man. All right, so that's how you how to crucify, man, with this image, the image, that false image, and this teaching's being twisted. All right. Yeah, but, uh, you know, so this is just, uh, you know. All right, so I'm just going to give you a little history on Bert and Ernie. All right, it says, uh, Bert and Ernie are two Muppets who appear together in new skits on the popular U.S. television show Sesame Street, originated by Frank Oz and Jim Henson. The characters are clearly performed by puppeteer A.F. Jacobson and Peter Lentz. And also, Jim Henson so, uh, was so amazing because the original uh, Muppet, where he used to film the Muppet show, that's where the Jimmy Kimmel show at now. It's, it's a Masonic Lodge. All right. Um, and Peter Lynn and also and Chancellor Oz occasionally performs Bert. It said, Here's the Bernie Ernie was built by Don, uh, I'm trying to pronounce this word, Solid from a Simple Design School by uh, Jim Henson. Created a month, Nietzsche Henson performed Bert and Oz perform Ernie, but after just one day, Rose switched characters. The original idea of the show that though two people that had totally different characteristics, they still could be good friends. Okay, so that's the original Bert and Ernie. According to the writer, John Stormy, Lady Jim Burton, and reflect the real life friendship between Henson and Oz. All right, not no damn uh, uh, homosexuality, man. As as that damn devil, uh, as this damn devil in this article uh, like to point out what a picture of that damn devil. Anyway, but when you look, when you type in that name, uh, uh. All right, so when you type in that name, that X, uh, March Saltzman, man, all right, you'll see a picture of that damn devil, man. But this is a friendship between uh, Jim Henson and uh, friendship between Henson and Oz, man, Jim Henson and Oz, man. All right, Jim Henson and Frank Oz. That's what Burton and Ernie originally represents, man, not the Damn sodomites, man. All right. But you people, you so damn simple, man. You don't do no research, man. All right. People are idiots, man. It said, burn, uh, I'm sorry. It says, uh, I'm going to scroll, I'm going to scroll down here. Let me see. Uh, according to A.E. by I, Burn Ernie were virtually the only Muppets to appear in Sesame Street pilot episode, which was screen test of number families in July 1969. All right, reason I'm reading this could prove that Burn was is just showing you they wasn't originally gay, man. It says their brief appearance was only part of the pilot that tested well, so it was decided not only should Muppet characters be stars of the show, but also interact with the human characters. Something that was not done to pilot. It said ordinary Burn Ernest can Paul Ernie come up with a harebrained idea. Bernie trying to talk to him out of it, and Bert loses his temper, and Ernie remained unaware of the results. 
of this bad his own bad idea. For example, one scare uh, Ernie tells Bert he started to collect ice cubes the day before and put them under the electric blanket overnight. When he shows the ice cube to Bert, he found out they had melted water. Bert knows what happened and tries to tell Ernie that his ice cubes melted because of the electric blanket. But Bert, but Ernie takes this to mean that a fish from the ocean came to the apartment and melted his ice cube. Vows to found the nuns is the fish that melted. The, the age of the character is clear. All right, but it says Sesame Street live perform with Taylor Morgan said in an evil that I just kind of try to link. Uh, I try to think like a six or seven year old because that's how old Bert is. All right, so Bert's a damn kid, man. All right, it's a damn kid. All right, they said, I know they live in an apartment and all this shit, but uh, this is fucking Sesame Street, man. All right, so makeup shit. All right. You know, but uh, you know, just just to prove the point that this, these characters was not originally gay, man. All right, so you know, there you go, man. The uh, the history, man. But see, all right, and it's just you know, burn just a couple, just jokes and shit, man. All over the years, you know, people used to tell them and shit. You know, they never uh. Slept in the same damn bed and all, all type of shit, man. But just show that Esau's a fucking liar, man. You know, and he want to push this side of your agenda, man. You know, you, you people stupid, man. You know, he just want burn Esau just want to push this agenda just to uh, make the twelve tribes of Israel go off so called Negroes, Latino, Native America. Because that's who watch these shows. It's like, man. All right. Anyway, but uh, you know that's the deal. But uh, you know again, it's about to make the Israelites go off and also keep the world population down by pushing the sodomy agenda, man. All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you one more thing. All right, I had this book like years, years ago, man. But it it had, uh, I left it on the side porch. It got mildew, you know. But anyway, this is a book called New World Order. It says, uh, it shows you homosexual marriage. All right. It said homosexual marriage should be uh, legalized. Parents are not allowed to rule the children in the state. All right. All women will be employed by the state, not allowed to um, be homemaker. Divorce will become a uh, ready and all right, but basically just say homosexual marriage will be legalized. All right, it's showing you that, man. If this is part of Esau pushing this side of me thing, it's a part of Esau programming, man. All right, get this book, man. It's, uh, you know, just show you, man, it's always been planted. All right, let me see uh, if I can make it bigger. Okay, it said homosexual marriages will be legalized. Parents will not be allowed to raise their children. The state will. All women will be employed by the state, not allowed to be homemaker. Divorce will become exceedingly easy, and monogamous marriage will be uh, slowly phased out. <laughs> all right, and this is the thing it says it's a government will become the owner of all factor production, private ownership, property be outlawed, religion will be outlawed. Believers will be either eliminated in prison. There will be a new religion to worship a man as man. All will believe in a new religion. All right. So, you know, that's the plan of Esau, the damn devil. That's coming true right now, man. Because in China, man, they're out long in your Bible, you know. And uh, you walk in China, man. You know, maybe may Yahweh, may uh, Yahweh, may uh, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh shall be with you, man. You know. <clears throat> so uh you know this is it so uh you know so, uh you know shout out one man you know and uh you know don't fall for this bullshit man all right just another device of uh satan the so-called white man trap you up so uh shout out one.